Good evening, I'm Joey Only, the Caribou Weather Dude, and I'm here to forecast heat this week, and I'm here to forecast the fire conditions for you all. And uh, I do expect fire conditions will uh, become more aggressive with the heat pattern that's settling in this week. There is heat warnings in effect. Let's look at everything now that we had to talk about. Let's go to the BC Battle Board. Well, here we look at windy.com. I like using it just because it's got lots of pretty colors. There's other sites that are pretty good too, ventusky.com. Of course, the Weather Network's forecasting is bang on, but for showing you my own graphics and doing my own forecasting, why not use windy? Look at uh, the heat this week is what I'm trying to show you. This is a temperature map. That southern United States Death Valley heat is coming back up this way and it's it's not maybe the same extreme that we had last time but it's to be expected as well though that we're not even in the depths of summer yet really the hottest time of year always in British Columbia is the end of July beginning of August so really we've been treated to some extra heat far early this year and it's very dry now uh, humidity is going to be low and heat's going to be up that's going to ramp up fire conditions of course so expect that friends expect that we are not at the time of year where you typically are going to see rain just come out of nowhere. So on the battle board there is heat warnings and there is wildfire smoke warnings, air quality warnings that are in effect. All right, the BC Bad Weather Battle Board, as I like to call it when Environment Canada gets us all colorful with different stories. I like to uh, call it the BC Bad Weather Battle Board just for something to say. Uh, yeah, so caribou. 100 Mile, South Thompson, and Fraser Canyon, you are all under heat warning. Good for you. This is what that means. A heat wave will affect parts of the BC interior. Daytime highs will be uh, 31 to 33 degrees in uh, the Caribou area. Uh, with an over overnight low is near 14. That's in uh, Caribou South, 100 Mile, and that kind of area. Time span Monday through Wednesday. Remarks, uh, above seasonal daytime temperatures with elevated overnight temperatures will mean little relief from the heat. This heat will event will increase the potential for heat-related illnesses. Heat warnings are issued when very high temperatures or humidity conditions are expected to pose an elevated risk of heat illnesses such as heat stroke or heat exhaustion. It also gives you lots of other advice like... Uh, Drink water before you're thirsty and stay in a cool place. So if you don't know how to do that, I mean, a little bit different. Same thing though, daytime highs ranging from 35 to 38 degrees Celsius combined with overnight lows near 18 degrees Celsius. That's Fraser Canyon, South Thompson, Monday through Wednesday. Uh, same sort of thing. Heat, a uh, little relief from the heat. And um, one of my concerns is that we will see lower humidity and higher temperatures, which should drive wildfire conditions to be uh, not just because the, the ground is drier and the, the fuel is drier, but also because the air is drier. And I'll explain what I mean there in a few minutes. A, a smoky skies bolton still remains in effect uh, all over parts of the central interior. Uh, several regions are being impacted or likely impacted by BC wildfire smoke over the next 24 to 48 hours. Smoke may be widespread in some regions uh, due to many active fires. Smaller fires in some regions may contribute to locally degraded air quality conditions. Localized precipitation may temporarily alleviate smoke conditions in some areas. Good luck with that, though I don't see a lot of precipitation coming anytime soon. The next bulletin will be available on July 12th. That's tomorrow. If uh, seniors and those with uh, cardiovascular disease, lung disease, asthma, you're all at risk. So, uh, I mean... Stay out of the smoke if you can, but uh, good luck with that. Crossover. What is crossover? So crossover refers to a specific set of conditions that may happen in the forest during uh, forest fire season. We call it the 30-30-30 rule. Well, really to have crossover, you just need the first two, which is the temperature to be above 30 degrees Celsius and for the humidity in the air to be below 30%. So when you get that, bam, you get this crossover area, and that's when fire conditions start to really happen. Well, there's a third thing you can add into there. If the wind starts blowing at 30 kilometers an hour, explosive fire conditions. So crossover is when we have explosive fire conditions. Why am I telling you this? Because I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to see crossover conditions in lots of places that uh, have had lightning strikes happen over the last 10 days. And they've just been sort of smoldering there, and they've been getting a little bit of sun, but then there's been clouds and thunderstorms and stuff, and they've just been sort of baby candle in there well next thing you know we're going to get more of this heat on it heat on it heat on it. i've actually been out in the a, a forest fire and seen when the sky sort of opens up and the sun gets on and late in the afternoon suddenly the heat ramped up and we hit that crossover and everything was kind of dead up to that point you didn't even see smoke anywhere really coming in and suddenly there was smoke coming out of the ground all over the place right so what happened was that crossover condition suddenly just made fire happy the summer really is just beginning i don't mean to cause alarms but i mean for you to be prepared 
mentally and physically with your family to uh, do whatever it takes to survive what may come because I don't think the big stories have even happened yet, friends. Good luck out there. Stay dry this week. It's going to be hot. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. Stay cool.